Hello everyone. Right now we're going to do a tutorial on my workflow with my Canon DSLR and I use a Tascam field recorder. You can obviously use a Zoom or whatever brand you would like. And basically I'm just going to go over my workflow of how I import, edit, and export for YouTube. So let's go ahead and get started. Basically what we're going to do is a video I just made uh, talking about thank you for my 200 subscribers and I just kind of wanted to do something short so I can show you how to edit that video. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So basically what we want to do is get all our footage uh, into appropriate folders. I like to stay very organized. So right now we have a footage, pluralize, premiere, and Tascam. Pluralize is going to be a, a program you can use to sync up your uh, like task cam and your footage from your camera. So basically we got that done. Let's go ahead and open Premiere and we're going to go ahead and you know do a new project. Go ahead and name that and pick whatever your uh, footage is. If you don't know what it is, no worries, just pick anything, click OK. And if you didn't know your footage, we'll go ahead and just delete that sequence. Premiere will actually let you know what it is and make an appropriate sequence for you. So let's grab our assets here, put them into Premiere. And we can go ahead and um, right click on the footage, new sequence from clip, and boom, it actually made it for us. It knew exactly what to do, so it's very smart. So we have that on there. Let's go ahead and grab our task cam footage. We'll put that on right below. So obviously these aren't synced up, so we need to get them synced up. You can manually do this. Um, not a fan of that. I like to be very efficient. So I use Pluralize. We're gonna go ahead and save this. Export that to a Final Cut XML. And we wanna tell that where to go, which is on a little, there we go. Uh, we're going to go to our Pluralize folder, save that there, minimize that, open up Pluralize. Going to go ahead and open that project. And for fastness, usually your clips are going to be in chronological order. Click on that, try really hard, and enable multiprocessing. This is going to do the best job it can possibly do for you to sync that up. So we're going to go ahead and click sync on that. And this will usually take a few minutes, could take hours if you had, you know, just tons and tons of footage, but usually it'll be pretty quick depending on your project and your computer speed, of course. So that's done. We'll go to Premiere and we're just going to delete that. We don't need that any longer because we're going to import a new folder. So we'll go to our pluralize, click on that synced one and you can see that uh, right there. So that should be together. Little video for one thing to Boom, we got it. So let's get rid of, I don't need this audio from my camera. Um, sometimes you might use a little bit, you know, if you want some ambient noise, but for this, we don't need it. We just want the best it can sound. So we'll just block off our uh, video so it doesn't get uh, deleted. Go ahead and delete that. Move our audio up. And I'm just going to take off this unused track. So that's working good. So the first thing I like to do is sound. Let's go ahead and get our sound cleaned up to make it sound the best we can. Even though I am using a Sennheiser lavalier mic, I mean, this is about a $600 microphone, you still want to clean up your audio the best you can. So let's right click on it, go to Adobe Audition, and you can get the full master suite for $30 a year through Adobe. So there's no reason anyone that's even just getting started in filmmaking can't afford that. It gives you After Effects, um, you know, Audition, Premiere, Photoshop, everything you need to make a professional production. So I highly recommend getting that. So what we need to do is just kind of normalize our sound. Um, I like to go up to negative six decibels and I want my lower, when I'm talking lower, I want it to be raised to about that same level so everything is nice and level. You don't have any peaking or don't have any low points of the sound. So we'll just double click on that and highlight that. Let's go to hard limiter. And I think uh, this will probably be, let's see here. We'll move I haven't got the chance to make a video in a couple months. I've been very busy with work, so that's that's, so that's going to look pretty good right there. Um, 
we want a negative six and we're raising the decibels so everything is around that so we might even go to about 16 and we'll go ahead and apply that so you can see everything's very similar to where it's at um, you don't have any peaks or so anything pretty exciting for me so that looks pretty good now we want to take out any hissing that might be feedback from the microphone or any kind of uh, noise that you don't really want and you can do that by going to a adaptive noise reduction and usually about one and a half is going to be good if you have a great microphone and I don't know about these other settings I think I've had them for a while I might have adjusted them but uh, you can copy those and just pause the video go ahead and apply that and that usually takes a little bit of time to do and we have a short clip here so and it still takes a little bit of time so um, you know on bigger projects it definitely will take some time but I think very worth doing it makes your audio sound very clear okay so that's done we'll go ahead and save that out so one for subscribing uh, that sounds great uh, thank you so much. now let's trim this up here to... hello everyone uh, thank you so much for <laughs> we gotta do a few takes obviously uh, hello everyone I think that's it right there. No, we were a little. Let's go ahead and take that off. Hello, everyone. I to nope, not in it either. <laughs> All right, that's it. Hello, everyone. Boom. So we find our our starting point there. Let's go to the end of it. Boom, we got our ending. So we'll take off all the excess there, get that over to the beginning point, and Hello, everyone. let's go ahead and, I, I shoot on a neutral picture style for Canon, so you, you need to add a little sharpness back in. So um, I'm gonna do 20 points of sharpening here. So that'll crisp it up a little bit. Today I wanted to make a all right, so we got our audio and we put our uh, sharpening in there. I don't think this really needs any color correction um, or any brightening or contrast. It looks pretty good how I shot it and it's not a super important project here. We're just doing a little quick tutorial for YouTube, so not a huge deal. So let's go ahead and we want a title in. We want to know who we're speaking to. So you can go to videohive.net and you can actually get some uh, pretty cheap uh, lower thirds so I'm gonna go to my assets where those are oops so we're gonna do white I think these were five dollars for a bunch of different colors and it's a nice little professional looking one so we'll just drag that in there it's already pre-rendered so you don't have to do anything a video so uh, we'll let that go there. For one thing. Boom. So let's just uh, make that a bit bigger. Not that big. That looks good. Put that down there. So let's get a title on there. And go ahead and pick you a font you would like. I'm going to go with walkway. Let's go with walkway bold. It's a nice font. Great, so we'll go with that. Alright, so we just want to copy and paste that and make it easy. Put in your second part if you have one. Oops. And we want to make that smaller, obviously.
Yeah, it looks pretty good there. Not perfect, but like I said, not a super important project, so. Thing to just thank everyone for subscribing. Uh, I've hit 200 subscribers, which is uh, pretty exciting for me. So that looks good. Let's get that right at the ending point there. And we definitely want to make some transitions on that. We don't want it to just abruptly come in and out. So we'll throw the film dissolve. I think that looks the best for a nice clean transition in and out. We'll put one at the beginning of our footage. Hello everyone. Today I wanted to make a video, uh, just a quick little video for one thing to just thank everyone for subscribing. Uh, I've hit 200 subscribers, which is uh, pretty exciting for me. Um, basically so that looks nice and professional there. Make a video. Okay, so uh, like I said, we got our sharpening. Don't really need any color or contrast. Looks pretty good. Um, basically, so we look pretty ready to go here. So let's go ahead and you know make sure we have it saved, obviously. And uh, I'm gonna just throw one more little film dissolve there. And if you had music, you can put down here, obviously. And you also want to just watch it again, make sure it looks good. So I, I think it's pretty good. If you want to put a nice little vignette, if you have Magic Bullet. Uh, that's always a nice little uh, thing to do. I got Magic Bullet Looks, uh, which is a pretty inexpensive uh, plugin as well. And you can right click on that. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, just double click on it. Go to your effects control and edit and looks right there. This is a nice way to get a, a nice little vignette. It always adds a little bit of something something to your video. So you can go to lens, go to vignette, and you just wanna get it to where it looks appropriate for you. I'm going to just go with the standard right there. It looks pretty good. And, you know, you can see right there, it just gives a little bit of, a little niceness to it, you know. Um, might be a little too much. Might uh, take it down just a bit. Let's see. Put a little something on there. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, just a little, not much, but just a little bit of something. So we got that on there, all right? So we did. We got everything, we like how it looks. Let's go ahead and export this out. So we wanna go to File, Export. Oh, make sure you're clicked on there. This, this happened to me when I was first getting started and couldn't figure out why I couldn't export it. Make sure you're in the little box right here, clicked on that, that's highlighted yellow. Export and go to Media. And what I like to do is use the media encoder. So let's go to, we want H.264. It's gonna be your best uh, for the web. And uh, where do we wanna put it? Obviously we wanna go to our, our file there. So we can just put it right there in the root of that little folder. And we'll do 1080p. And uh, basically I have a little uh, one that I made that's nice, YouTube 15 meg. That's a, that's a good little number give you good quality and um, but I'll show you what that is it's 1080p obviously I'm on 29.97 frames uh, you want to go down here to render at maximum depth that's going to give you better quality and I do a continue uh, continual bitrate that's what I prefer I like it you can go to 15 and broadcast is 50 so that's what you would use for broadcast for TV and uh, you want to use maximum render quality as well. And if it's going to be, if you start with 1080p and you're going to go to 1080p, you can use the previews and this will speed it up. Okay. So we want to queue that up. That's going to open your media encoder. And this really helps you because you can do other things while it's doing this. If you export straight from Premiere, um, you have to wait for it. So I could go in and edit another project. So let's just click play. And that's going to basically encode this project for us right now. That should, that looks awesome, sounds good, and um, you know, that will definitely make you look professional. So obviously you need to make sure you set your camera and audio up correctly, but once you get it done, you can quickly make a nice uh, project that's gonna look, you know, wonderful for you. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope this helped you out. Please, uh, you know, send me a message or leave a comment and let me know what I can uh, do a tutorial next for you uh, to try to help you out with your filmmaking skills. Um, this is Clint here from Everything Studios and hope everyone has a blessed day. Thank you.